how are we going to, you know, like cover these topics together? Um, and at what level? I'm going to start at a very basic level of PHP. And then I'm going to move right into the advanced. Now, what do I mean by advanced? We're going to be talking about object oriented programming. Um, don't worry if you don't know what that means yet, because I'm going to explain it. And hopefully, it should be a lot clearer in the next couple of videos. And we're also going to cover model view controller. Um, again, don't worry if you don't understand model view controller. I'm going to try to make it very simple as possible. So you should be able to grasp the concepts behind uh, these design patterns and frameworks. And um, then you can sort of see the benefits of it, which is obviously uh, to give you a little insight into it. it will, it's really good for scalability. So if you're building a very large application, uh, you'll find a model view controller uh, is a good framework to, to adopt when you're developing um, large scale applications. Um, the next thing we're going to, you know, basically go into, and, and maybe we can start with that first, is um, setting up the environment. Now, a lot of people, uh, especially when they're starting out in software development, uh, they, 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 they get confused and, you know, with all these different tools, different environments. Um, so this could be one of the, the biggest hurdles uh, when, you're, when you're getting into programming. So we're going to talk about setting up the environment. So what, am I, what do I mean by setting up the environment? It is, we, we're, not, we're not just talking about um, you know, the IDs, you know, the, the tools or the software that you're going to need when you're programming in PHP or Java or C++. So we're going to talk about configuring your platform. So if you're on Windows, I'm going to show you how to um, make your operating system, Windows in this case, um, as efficient as possible so you don't you know you don't have any sort of like lag time um, you know your computer doesn't crash you don't run out of memory the next thing we're going to talk about is um, the kind of uh, platforms that we're going to need um, the development environment itself so we're going to talk about maybe um, what WAMP is uh, which is Windows Apache MySQL and PHP this is for the PHP uh, for Windows um, we've got something similar for Linux, it's called LAMP, uh, which is Linux, um, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Uh, likewise, if you're on, uh, on the Mac, it'll be basically MAP. So you can actually search for these things, and you can download them individually. Or, in these in the videos that I'm making, I'll be showing you how you can actually uh, download it, and it's all integrated into one simple application and then it will just run so you don't need to download each uh, component separately and then integrate it so we, we'll try to keep it as simple as possible obviously if you've got a uh, hosting or you've got your own domain name then you don't need to worry about setting up um, on on your local computer you can actually use your web hosting account and upload the files and run it on the web but here we're trying to be as inclusive as possible so I'm going to show you how you can turn your PC into a web server so basically now what we're going to do um, we're going to try to keep these um, lessons as short as possible so let's um, rearrange this a little bit so then it can become um, easier to follow um, let's move that one down here for a moment so we'll start off first with um, setting up the environment and then we'll look at um, you know the basics of PHP um, and then we'll move into advanced but just before we go through the basics um, wouldn't it be really cool to um, to get an idea of programming in general now what do I mean by that I mean uh, the basics of programming the different languages maybe now what do I mean by that I'm talking about procedural and object oriented languages um, and then we'll sort of go into the the basics of PHP then we'll go into you know a PHP object oriented programming um, and then uh, you know we'll see where it takes us from there basically and then we'll go into the frameworks and then we'll start developing um, applications now if you're familiar with web development you'll be thinking well okay what's the prerequisites for this course 
what do I really need to know? I like to start like and assume that no one knows anything about programming at all, no one knows anything about web development. You know, it would be a good advantage if you know some HTML and jQuery, JavaScript, you know, all the front end stuff. Um, although I will actually cover that um, as I'm going along or at least give you a little refresher I'm gonna assume that you know nothing about programming you know nothing about web development and I'm gonna try to cover it as I go along so really my my method here is going from back to front and um, what I mean by that is we'll be looking at um, the server side language which is PHP in this case and then we'll go to the client side now the server side so let's just put that here so we're trying to be as clear as possible so everybody is all inclusive here and the front end is the client side now what is a client side um, the client side is basically you know the, the customer itself you know the, the end the end person the user um, like yourself you're looking through the browser so the browser would be the client um, and the server is is the computer that holds all these um, applications and websites the back-end the actual uh, program itself uh, and that's where PHP will sit it will sit on the server and uh, all your JavaScript and HTML uh, you know jQuery and any other sort of client-side um, languages um, or scripts would be sitting on the browser it would actually download onto the client's computer and then it would run from there um, so so basically we'll look at those two ends and we'll also look into databases we'll look at MySQL okay it's very common for web development again um, what the, the the objective of these courses is to try to be as inclusive as possible and teach you transferable skills so once you learn the SQL structured query language and um, then you can actually move into very easily into SQL Lite, which is common on the iPhone development or um, other databases such as Oracle as well